computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to transfer files from the Macintosh computer to a USB flash drive, memory stick, pen drive, whatever they call them today, 2023. Without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer, have access to the USB flash drive, which can have a capacity of 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, all the way up to one terabyte in size. In this tutorial, we are working with a four gigabyte memory stick. We can now start the tutorial. Before I start the tutorial, I would like to say that you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. As we know, every problem is solved by indirection. You can also, Follow my Twitter account. We are trying to grow as fast as ever. I'm on TikTok. We post videos here and there. Follow my page on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. You are more than welcome to support me on PayPal. Let's now focus on the video. So now let's bring the USB flash drive into the frame. Let's now connect via USB port. And so we should see that show up on screen. Just to reiterate, if you have a USB Type-C computer, you will require an adapter if you use a USB Type-A memory stick. So let's now open up the USB memory stick flash drive on screen. As you can see, we have one folder on screen. But in this tutorial, we are looking to transfer, let's say, videos, photos, folders, any other information of your choice, I'll close the Finder window for the moment. Now let's go all the way to the dock. Go to the Finder. Let's now take some photos, which we see on screen, and highlight, copy, move to another desktop, open up the USB flash drive on screen. So now let's go to the Finder window. Go in that finder window, right click. And paste two items. So we have copy and pasted photos from the Mac computer to the USB flash drive. That's one piece of information. So let's take a document as well as a PDF file, highlight, Right click, copy, go to the USB flash drive, which is on the other desktop, right click, and paste two items. And so the documents have been pasted to the USB flash drive, have been transferred. Let's go back one. Let's now take a folder. All what we can do is convert the folder to a zip file. Right click on Computer Science Videos Limited. And now let's compress the folder itself. This should take some time really depending on the size of the folder. As we are working with USB 3, it was very quick. So we have compressed. If I see the get information, an almost 200 MB folder has now been compressed to 150. Right click, copy, go to the next desktop, and within that finder window of the USB flash drive, right click, paste item. We are now simply copying and pasting the zip file to the USB flash drive. That's all done within five to 10 seconds. We can now delete the zip file from our main finder window. Command and delete will delete that zip file but not the folder. So let's now go to movies, videos, take a video, highlight, right click, copy the video, go to the USB flash drive. Let's now paste the item. And the video itself has been copied and pasted within the USB flash drive. Let's go back one. Let's go back one again. Let's go to pictures, take 
the image of the Mac computer, right click, copy, go back to the USB flash drive, paste item, and now the image of the Mac computer has been copied and pasted within the USB flash drive. So let's go back one, let's go to music. I see an audio.mp3, highlight, right click, copy, go to the USB flash drive again. Let's paste this item. And that has now been transferred from the Mac computer to the USB flash drive. So let's go back one. If there's anything else we wish to transfer, we can do that. All it would require is some extensive searching. You can transfer applications using the memory stick. But now the thing is, by transferring applications, will those applications work on another Mac computer, you would have to really check with the developer because as applications become obsolete, there is always software updates. So the developers have to update their applications and you may find that some applications may not be working on another OS or a previous OS. So it's really up to you to be checking with the developer as to what is compatible and what isn't, which is why I never transfer applications. I only purchase from the App Store or through third-party websites, which would require me to buy a license as they would then push their update on us and we've paid for the application. So we now have the update and we then don't have to worry about transferring applications from a Mac computer to another Mac via USB or AirDrop as Everything is all synchronized with iCloud and within your account, you can go to the other computer via the App Store, re-download to the new machine or the old machine if it's in line or in sync or it's still compatible. And so moving on from where we were, that's why I would highly recommend you to not try and transfer applications from the Mac computer to a USB. It's all done in the cloud. So let's go back to the finder window where we have the USB open. In this tutorial, we have transferred information, files from the Mac computer to a USB flash drive, an audio file, a zip file of a folder, an image, a couple of screenshots, a Word document, a PDF file, and a video. So what we can do is close finder, Highlight the USB, right click, eject the USB. So now let me just take this out of the Mac computer. What you would then do is take the information, go to another Mac computer. Let's just pretend the Mac computer I'm using now is another Mac computer. I will insert the USB into the USB port, open up USB, increase the size of the finder window, and then I would start transferring my information in the USB onto the Mac computer. How do we do that? Let's just highlight the information. We can drag and drop to the Mac. And this may take some time depending on the file size. As you can see, it was done within about five seconds as we were only transferring 160 MB. Let's just say we are transferring 50 gigabytes on a 64 gigabyte USB flash drive from the Mac computer to a USB and vice versa. It will take, let's just say five to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of the computer and the transfer rate. So we can delete the information that we have transferred, command and delete, go back to the bin empty the bin so that itself has been deleted. A couple of reasons as why you should leave the USB connected into the Mac computer. Let's just say you're opening up a video, watching a video, the USB is still connected. If you take out the USB from the Mac computer, there will be some sort of data loss, damage done to the whole computer itself. The file is open, but you've just taken out the flash drive, if I let's say you watch a DVD, 
this is like 20 years ago, and I would have pulled out the DVD, there would definitely be some information loss, damages to the CD, whilst it was still being played. If I take a video cassette out whilst it's still being played, there would be some data loss, it would damage the whole cassette, you would then have to send that across to an engineer, or maybe try to fix it yourself, as those cassettes and tapes, the information will be unretrievable, so you've got to be very careful with how you deal with data, how data is transferred, what can be done, what cannot be done. So let's now close the finder window. We can then now go all the way down to the dock, go to finder, and if we ever need to transfer any other information, we can search, go to pictures, music, movies, what's on the desktop, Go to the computer science videos folder. If you want to transfer an iCloud folder, keep this in mind that the folder will just be copy and pasted. If you upload something to the cloud, it will not sync with your USB as the destination folder is different. You've just moved something via copy and paste. You've not moved the original file to the USB. That would be amazing. The USB file is not connected to the Mac computer. You're uploading something to the cloud and the USB flash drive without Wi-Fi is being contiguously or rigorously updated. That's amazing. So let's now close Finder, highlight the USB flash drive, eject the USB, remove from the Mac computer. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for Computer Science Videos from the start until now.